All right, shalom. Before I get started, Brakati Yahweh, Brakati Yahweh Shah, Brakati Yahweh, Brakati Yahweh Shah, Brakati Yahweh, Brakati Yahweh Shah, Kahala Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rechakudash. Second, I want to give double honors to the elders apostles throughout the four corners of the earth that's pushing the truth in all sincerity and righteousness in these last days. I also like to give double honors to the head and the elder of the man of Israel camp, the Chazak. Who my teacher on the down here in Greenville, South Carolina. I also like to give another shout out to you, sincere Akim. You brothers out there that's pushing this truth and all sincerity and righteousness in these last days. And I also like to give another shout out to you, uh, Israelite foreigners that's looking like the other heathen nations cause confusion. Come back to your heritage in these last days. And uh Shalakim. Yeah. And I also like to give a quick shout out to you if you out walk you. You sisters out there that stand in order and do what y'all need to do in these last days. To y'all like to say shalom. Alright, now coming back through the spirit and power you have by Shin with another exhortation video. And um I wanna do a video on uh this article that I saw in the end time headline that says uh <clears throat> it says why has the United States been shaken by so many usual earthquakes lately? It said it is getting very difficult to ignore all of the shaking that is going on over the past few months. There have been very unusual earthquakes all over the United States. As you will see below, there have been no no worthy quakes on the West Coast. On the East Coast, near our northern border and near our southern border, it says, of course, all of this comes at a time when the entire planet is being shaken by unusual by unusual semitic activity is all of this unusual uh, semitic activity building up to something if so what does this mean for all of us this mean that this this mean that a hey, hey, the end is coming man <laughs> that's what it means man you know and i just read this there man you know that's pretty much the point of this article but like it said man if so what does this mean for all of us? This means that Yahweh Bashi is starting to visit this place and that y'all need to wake the hell up, man, because Yahweh Bashi is about to send judgment on this earth, mainly here in in, in this uh, USA, man. Like it said, like the article said, uh, why has the United States been shaken by so many usual earthquakes lately, man? That, because this symbolizes America is about to get ready to be judged, man. You know, Yahweh Bashi is about to start bringing this harsh judgment on this whore, man. It, it, it's time for this whore to be judged, man. And, and, and the reason, you know, this place has to be judged because look at all the unrighteous acts this place is promoting and it's doing, man. Right? It's promoting uh, bestiality, right? It's, it's promoting uh, homo, you know what? Homo, you know? Homo, tomo, whatever you want to call it. You know, you got to change the words up a little bit, but it promote the, the, the nasty people, like I said. Right, it's promoting eating unclean foods, right? It's promoting all this wickedness, man. Adultery, all this, man. So it's time for Yahweh Bashi Yahweh to judge this whore, man. You know? Um So um Um and like it said right here, it says of course <clears throat> it's like it says of course all of this comes at a time when the entire planet is being shaken by unseemly uh semitic activity you see that you see that man the lord said all this is coming when things are about to start brewing up man and what's about to brew up this judgment on this whore man you see the judgment on this whore is about to get ready to play uh play its part man you know through the spirit and power you have about seeing over shot and so like it my voice sound like this you know jake kind of tired you know just got off the plantation but, you know, I had to push out this video, you know, at the end of the day, man. No matter how tired you is. <sighs> it's like you, man. So, uh, I ain't even going to close it out. But if I need it again, I'll just get it. But, uh, matter of fact, damn, I'm going to need it again. Like it, bear me one second. Cause like I said right here, uh, if so, what does this mean for all of us? This is what it mean. Let's get the scripture. Um, second edge chapter nine. I'm starting from the top. 
He says, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And how are we measuring the time? Through prophecy, man. We, we, we measure the times through prophecy, man. Uh, when we see this prophecy happen, we know, oh, okay. We, we know we're close to the end times. Like when we see prophecies or videos going into the MOTB, we know, okay, we're in the end times, man. You see? That's prophecy, man. So it says, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I had told you before, what are the signs? The signs are the prophecies, man. So it says, <clears throat> it says, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, it says, then should thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. You see, so we starting to see these earthquakes, right? These, these different types of storms start, starting to happen. We understand that this is the time Yahweh Bashi and Oshan starting to visit this earth, man. Which he, like I said, which he made. Verse 3, the point. Therefore, when there should be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then should thou understand that the Most High, Yahweh Bashi and Oshan, spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. You see that? So we understand that, you know, um, these are these are the times where Yahweh Bashi and Oshan is getting ready to do, getting ready to uh bring judgment on his earth, man, which he made. Cause it said, therefore, when there should be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people, aren't we seeing that? Aren't we seeing a lot of earthquakes? Aren't we seeing a lot of the uproars of the people, especially with this, you know, this politician politics stuff going on with Kamala Harris, Donald Trump, and Joe Biden and them? We still starting to see a lot of uproars of the people. We starting to see a lot of earthquakes. We starting to see a lot of the disasters going on in this uh, place, man. Known as Babylon, America, man. You see, so call all you have by Shia was shot. Because we understand that this is the end, man. This is the end for this wicked kingdom to be destroyed, man. With thermal nuclear fire, man. This place, Salakia. Like <sighs> this place must be destroyed, man. Thus said the Lord. Thus said the scriptures, man. Thus, you know. And thus said the Lord prophets, man. You know. Um, let's go to Matthew chapter 24 And we're going to uh, start at verse 3 And then we're going to jump down uh, Matthew 24 and verse 3 And it says And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives The disciples came unto him privately Saying tell us When should these things be And what should be the sign of thy coming And of the end of the world You see that And, and, and what was going to be the signs man the signs was going to be, right? The sign, Well, first and foremost, like you said, tell us when should these things be and what should be the sign of that coming in the end of the world. Now, is it talking about the literal, literally being the end of the world? No, it's talking about the end of a rulership, the end of Esau world, because going the second edge is not the ninth chapter, verse 6. It says, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. So... Like I said, when should these things be? Meaning when it's going to be the end time? When, when, what what prophecies got to take place to know that, okay, yeah, we're in the end times. And jumping down to verse 7 is going to explain. These are some of the things Yahweh Shah List uh, said that was going to happen. Uh, to the, uh, uh, that was going to happen in the last days, man. So uh, this is the book of Second Edge. Not Second Edge. This is the book of Rep. Uh, I'm keep saying Rep. Really. I'm thinking about anti-prophecy books. <laughs> But this is the book of uh, Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 7. And it says, Matthew 24 and 7, For a nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there should be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. You see that? Yahweh Shai said, these things must take place, man, in the last days, man. Right? Aren't you seeing nations rising against nation? Right? You got North Korea rising against America. You got Russia rising against America, right? You got China uh, rising against America, right? It says, for nation should rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, right? Are you seeing the kingdoms uh, rising against each other? These Americans, Democrats, and Republicans fighting against each other. That's kingdom versus kingdom, man. You know, his own kingdom is fighting against, his, against, against each other, man. You know, it's divided. And like the scriptures say, if Satan can't, I mean, if a kingdom be divided against each other, roughly paraphrased, how can that kingdom stand, man? You know, if Satan cast out Satan, how, how should his kingdom stand, roughly paraphrasing, man? You know? So it says, for nation shall rise against nation, 
and kingdom against kingdom. And there should be famines and pestilence, and right, and famines going to lack of food, right? Uh, we're seeing the lack of food going on. All these, uh, these, uh, it's like it, my damn nose. Uh, we see a lot of these uh, businesses starting to close down. All right, uh, they, uh, they, they starting to pay farmers to cut their crops. You got a lot of uh, places where they uh, make your food, right? You starting to see those buildings starting to burn down and shit. Come on, why? This is prophecy. It says pestilence, the diseases, right? Can't say much on that. But, you know, you're seeing all these different diseases coming out. Why is that, man? And then it says, in earthquakes in diverse places. You're starting to see a lot of these earthquakes, right? So, like, in my allergies, acting up, kind of. But you're starting to see a lot of these allergies. I'm, I say allergies. <laughs> you're starting to see a lot of these earthquakes, man. You know, uh, starting to uh, hit different places, like South Carolina. South Carolina wasn't never known for, because uh, I live in the state of South Carolina. South Carolina was never known as a, a state for earthquakes. Now, you're just starting to see a lot of earthquakes everywhere. <laughs> I remember they had uh, uh, South Carolina on the list uh, 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 of a state that for unusual earthquakes, man. You know, because we don't, you know, typically get earthquakes over here in the states, man. Uh, in the state of South Carolina, man. You know, and like the article said, it's like you remember damn nose, man. And like the article said, man, why has the United States been shaken by so many earthquakes, unusual earthquakes lately, man, lately? You know, those are earthquakes in diverse places, man, in unusual places, man. And they're starting to do it uh, rapidly, man, you know, daily down there, man, you know. <laughs> Slightly, man, my damn allergies. <laughs> Like you, I like you for that, man. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 6. It says, Thou should be visited of the Lord Yahweh, while Yahweh shall have hosts with thunder and with earthquakes and great noise, with storm and tempest, and the flame of divine fire, man. You see that? So, we're starting to see a lot of these earthquakes going on around the earth, man, right. And this is Yahweh Shai pouring out his wrath upon this uh, wicked kingdom, America, man, Babylon the Great, man. You see, America is starting to, I mean, not America, the Lord is starting to pour out his wrath upon this wicked ass kingdom, America. I, the Lord, you know, he's saving this kingdom last. Like they say, you say the best for last. And that's exactly what the Lord is doing, man. The Lord is saving the best for last, man. You know, and call along Yahweh Shai Shai because this means that this place is on its way out, man. You got niggas out here thinking uh, <laughs> this place got 10 plus years. Man, this place ain't got 10 plus years, man. This place would be lucky to have three plus years, man. Lord willing, it got, ain't got another year, man. Lord willing, you how rough is I? But I'm going to say three at the max, you know? That's just me, you know, speaking as a man at that. Because we don't know, you know, like the scripture say, no man know the day in the world. But from the prophecies and the signs, this place look like it don't got three years, man. No more than three you know, we could be already right ahead of the year 2027, you know. But, Lord, like I said, Lord willing before that, man. But uh, no longer than 2027, man. Matter of fact, they even got the, uh, what is it called? The, the Doomsday Clock. Uh, let me see. What the... <laughs> so, like, uh... Damn. Damn, I would. Let me see. Cause I think it's in New York, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, uh, let me see. It looks something like that, man, but. Damn. Doomsday clock time. Mm, I don't know where is it is. It says January 2020. It ain't even January, man. 
I don't know, but I believe they had the Doomsday. Uh, let me see. What year is the Doom? I don't know, man. But if I'm not mistaken, they had it set at like 2027, 2028. Not saying that that's going to be the end of the world, but hey, Lord willing, if don't, like I said, don't be that far. But if it is, it is, it is whatever, whatever the will of Yahweh Shem Shah is, hey, we just got to be patient, man. But, you know, that's pretty much all I had, man. Yahweh Shazad, this video was edifying, and I'm going to close it with giving our praise and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rechakudash. Shalom until next time. Shalom.